It is a joy like no other, the birth of a baby, and usually it all unfolds in a hospital's maternity ward. But a growing number of women are going back to basics and they're having their baby at home. In Health Watch, Shelly Vota tells us why women like it and doctors don't. There is a controversy over home births versus hospital. An increasing number of moms-to-be are going back to basics, and doctors don't like it one bit. Manatee. Sarah Rankin's family is about to get a little bigger. My daddy. What color is that? And just like first child Charlotte, they want the baby to come into the world right here in their home. You're able to control the vibe of your birth. So she was born in a dark room with silence instead of beeping and screaming and people rushing around and it was just so serene. But it's still rare. Less than 1% of the 4 million births in the U.S. last year happened at home. Dr. Jill Hechtman says it's because it's too risky. One study found 23 to 37 percent of women who tried to give birth at home wound up being rushed to the hospital. I'm not a big proponent of home birth because I've seen the bad things that can happen and I know that there's only minutes when they do happen. Dr. Heckman says the mortality rate for home birth babies is roughly twice as high as hospital births. 13 fatalities versus six for every 10,000 in a hospital. We are licensed and regulated by the state. She says safety contingencies are in place if there's a complication. It's not home birth at all costs. Dr. Heckman still isn't convinced. I would rather embrace the patients that would consider home births and talk to them and provide them what they want in a hospital setting. But for Sarah, there is no doubt about where she will welcome baby number two. Doctors and midwives do agree on one thing, and that is that some women are better candidates for home deliveries than others. For example, those without any previous health problems or C-sections, and usually women only having one baby and not twins or triplets. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.